Hello everyone, it's Kelsey here, and today I'm going to share with you my project life for week 25. And I've got a lot of photos this week, and I'm starting out with um, a design F page, because that's what my project life from the previous week ended with. So I'm just going through a bunch of photos here, and I'm trying to group them. And I'm going to do an insert this week, because I have a bunch of Father's Day photos. And I thought those um, would go well and do at least... Um, one side of the insert. So that's why I decided to group those together. And then I have a bunch of other photos that will go on the opposite page. And I'm going to try to incorporate some of the cards that are already on there from last week. I just used the backs of them, but I'll kind of see how that goes. Um, so there you can see that I decided I needed an insert. So I pull out my one of my favorite pages. It's a Design H. And it is basically half of a design A, which I love, and I think it's a really great format. So um, I've got a bunch of cards that I'm going through, and I'll be using a variety of kits, as always, whatever else is on my desk, but mostly Studio Calico kits and some printables that I had out. So, and I was trying to find something to map that photo on, and it looks good just on that blue card, so that's what I'm going to go with. And then these are some of the bits and pieces from the Glitz Design Collection. Um, I had received those pretty recently, and I love the colors um, from Glitz Design. They're very light and airy. They remind me a lot of, um, like, Dear Lizzie and Maggie Holmes, just really light, subtle colors that I really like, but I don't use as often as I want to. I find I use very bold colors even when I don't want to. And I am using some Memento Tuxedo Black Ink, and I just stamped on that photo and just slide it in the pocket. Pretty easy peasy. And some of the journaling cards and filler cards I'm also going to put in there. Um, I hate when I have to trim them down. I hate that the pocket protectors are not exactly 3 by 4 And, of course, you get cards of all different sizes. Some that are perfect 3 by 4 some that are perfect to fit in the pockets. It's so strange. I just wish that the pocket designs were a little bigger you know it doesn't have to be a perfect 12 by 12 I would rather have the pockets be perfectly sized but whatever I've done project by for a year and a half now and I'm pretty much used to it now so I'm going to use this daily routine card and just journal some of the you know daily routine things on it and um, that was a card from last week that I'm just writing on the back of because I really like the back of that card so I thought it would work well there and I had just put some little pink gem-like things on the photo down below, so you can see those. And I'm also going to trim up that Instagram photo. Um, I print my own Instagram photos at home using Photosheet, and they don't always, I don't always cut them perfectly, so that's my own fault. Um, but they're kind of hard to cut out with a paper trimmer to get perfectly square lines, so a lot of times I have to trim it up. And I've got some gold striped washi tape there from my mind's eye. And I just thought it kind of made that photo pop up a little bit more. And then I realized you can't fold it over into the back because you are using the back from the previous week. So um, luckily I remembered that and saw it as I was putting it in. And I just went ahead and trimmed the edges of those washi tape. So I'm like the queen of not thinking about things. You're not planning things out, and that's just proof positive right there. And I'm trying to use more washi tape in my layouts. Um, I have a whole bunch of it, and I never use it, so I feel like I'm going to try to use more washi tape just to kind of use up my stash and just add a little something extra to some photos or journaling cards. So... I also try to use some of those stickers, um, like the gems and those little asterisks. I feel like those, they're kind of like enamel dots, but they're different shapes and colors and different um, dimensions and textures. So it's like an enamel dot in the fact that it's just something quick and easy to add on there, but it's not, um, you know, like the same old thing over and over. So this is a die cut that I had um, just on my stash, and I was going to use watercolors on it, but I decided to try one of these new Neo Color. Um, 
little crayon pens that I have, and I really, really like playing with the Neo Colors. I'm going to have to get some more because they were really easy and fun to work with, and they're pretty cheap. I mean, I love my watercolors, but it's just fun using something a little bit different. So I stapled it on there, and it fits in, and I realized, oh, you better put the week on there. Um, so I didn't put the dates on this week. I started out using these rub-ons. I thought they might show up and be kind of subtle, but they weren't. And in fact, I accidentally got an extra one onto the, like, the A and the U of Beautiful. I accidentally rubbed on, like, a number six or something. So, um, yeah, that did not work out very well. So I'm going to go ahead and grab those cork sticker thicker things and just put um, 25. And I really like the way that turned out. It's very simple and just really cute, not much distracting you um, on that card. It's just, you know, life is beautiful, 25, and I really like that. So there is my little insert, and I realized the photos aren't going to quite work the way I wanted them to. So basically what I'm going to do is put the Father's Day photos on the back of the layout, or the back of the insert, and do some photos also on the second page of the layout. So... Oh, you'll see what I need in a second. So, again, I'm just trying to find some cards. I'm going to um, put those little Instagram-sized photos on some cards and do some journaling and just have it all kind of come together on this page. And I've got some glossy accents here, and I decided to put a couple stars on there just to decorate it. I have those star sequins forever, and they just really need to... Um, get used up. They're really cute and they're flat. So they work with a lot of layouts um, or with the Project Life stuff especially because it's going into a page protector. So you can't have too much dimension um, when it comes to the pockets. And sorry, you see me struggling with this glossy accents. I have a love-hate relationship with glossy accents as you know if you've been a subscriber for very long. Um, every time I go to use it on camera, I for, like I just use it spur of the moment. And I don't have it ready. And you guys have to watch me squeeze and poke the bottle with a pen <laughs> and pull clumps of glue out. It's, I really need to be more prepared. But I never think I'm going to use glossy accents until I'm using it and then I'm frustrated by it. <laughs> so there, um, those are some of those paper pads from We Are Memory Keepers. They're probably about a year old by now. I got them from Target. But I noticed the other day in my Target they still have some. So... I don't know if they keep sending them out or if nobody has bought them, but I think they're super cute, and I'm thinking about picking up some more, but I wish We Are Memory Keepers would come out with another style of um, paper pads similar to the, this one, just, you know, different designs and stuff. seems like they're focusing more on the value kits now, though, so it is what it is. So um, those sequins aren't quite dry yet. So I decided to go ahead and move on, and I'm kind of working with the Father Day stuff. And then I change my plan again and decide, well, I will put the Father's Day stuff all on the second layout. So I just use the back of that card. Since I'm always running out of four by six cards, I'm going to just put the picture on there. And I'm going to call that a day. Found one of those little wood veneers. And it says, meh, because the meal was horrible. Luckily, I just made it for lunch. It was like these brown sugar chicken wings, and they were weird. I was going to do a blog post about them, but I didn't even know how to how to explain it. They were so bad and so weird. So, anyway, that's what that photo is about. And then I also took a photo of um, my hair straightener this week, which I don't straighten my hair very often. My hair is pretty straight um, as it is, but um, I was trying to document more of like my daily routine or the little things in my daily routine. So I had taken a picture of my hair straightener this week and I'm just kind of going to journal about it. And I'm thinking maybe I will do some sort of like Instagram, Project Life, um, photo prompt kind of thing where if you don't have an idea for your Project Life this week, I will come up with a prompt and um, show you a photo that I've taken from my project life that's maybe kind of weird or out there, just something a little bit different 
Um, something you might not have thought of, especially if your project life is running low on photos that week. So it's just an idea that I have. So if you guys are looking for some photo prompts for your project life, just let me know and I will get something started for you guys. So I'm trying to play around with my last few photos here. And it's a pretty full set this week. I did two design S and an insert. So that's why this video is a little bit longer than my videos have been lately for my project life. But um, I guess I just had a lot going on this week. So, of course, Father's Day. I mean, we took four photos just of Father's Day. Um, and then I happened to take a lot of other photos as well. So I'm just looking for some embellishments to kind of put on some of the pages. And I find that um, little thing, it's like a watercolor embellishment. And I just put it on there for the moment, and I'm looking for something different, maybe something wood veneer. I'm trying to use up more of my wood veneers. Um, so I try to pull those out. They're kind of tucked away, so I forget to use them. So obviously when I bring the box out, I'm pulling a bunch of them out at once. And I also keep my flare badges in there. So, um, and one thing I will say is that little thing embellishment there on the bottom right corner that I'm going to play with. I thought I would never have a chance to use that, but um, it kind of worked out that I'm going to be able to use it on this layout. So even if you don't think that you're going to use something, save it for a little bit because you never know when you might actually use it. Um, so there, just adhering some of the wood veneer down onto the photos, trying to get the placement and then trying to decide what other embellishments need to go on my photos before I tuck them in the pocket. So that one just had a really quick geotag on there. I don't know why, I just put a geotag on there. And then I used another neocolor. color. Um, I guess once I started, I couldn't stop. So I just did a basic little outline of this ampersand card, which if you um, have heard my rants in the past, I'm horrible with ampersand cards. I never know what to do with them. But this week, I decided to just outline it and call it a day. And it doesn't have to be the and symbol. It can just be an ampersand. So try to go with the flow on the ampersands, guys. <laughs> so I just outlined it in purple. And I felt like it went with that little, like the sketchiness of the ampersand. So I really like the way that card turned out. So I'm just going to leave it to dry there for a little bit. And then... Um, it will go in the final layout. And I love those tags. They fell out really bad. Um, so I may have lost a couple here and there, but I really love those. And I love that they've been including those types of embellishments and tags more in kits lately. I will definitely be using every single one of those. And here I'm just going to use my slick writer to write on the photo. Um, it was just a little meal and it had some white space on the photo. So I just went ahead and used that there. And then I've got a label that I pulled out of um, my little die cut case where I keep some tags and die cuts that are ready to go. And I cut that tag really crooked, but whatever. It's the way it is. And I just did a little journaling about how I went to the car wash and I sing in the car when I'm at the car wash because I'm kind of a dork like that. <laughs> so I'm just basically going to wrap this up by putting that photo on a card and I will do some journaling about Father's Day but I will do that off camera so you guys don't have to watch me write on a card forever at the end of this video so I just want to say thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content soon and also if you want to be entered for the giveaways that I've got going on I've got two of them going on so make sure to check those out um, and you do need to be a subscriber to participate in those. So I will see you guys again really, really soon, and have a great weekend.